And the thing I'm most proud of is that you're such a good person. That's why you're a great princess and why you'll make a great queen. The Descendants franchise has returned in full force, featuring new villains and heroes in The Rise of Red. The latest installment introduces Wonderland to the world of Auradon, taking the franchise's next protagonist, Red, away from her home and the controlling influence of her mother, the Queen of Hearts. It's suspicious when the Queen allows her daughter to attend Auradon, when it's abundantly clear how strict she is about Red's upbringing. When the Queen later stages a coup to overthrow Uma and the Fairy Godmother, her intentions become clear, causing Red to go back in time with Chloe Charming to prevent her mother from becoming evil in the first place. However, the film ends abruptly, with the Queen of Hearts turning from a cruel dictator to a kind ruler. Some fans have begun questioning what's next for the franchise and what consequences could result from Red changing the timeline. The answer may lie with Cinderella and how her role in the franchise could change over time. In today's video, we'll discuss four reasons why Cinderella may become the true villain of Descendants. Come on, Bridget. Even your daughter knows it's wrong. She can't do it. Number one, her history. Everyone knows the story of Cinderella. Unlike most fairy tale princesses, she comes from humble beginnings. The daughter of a commoner and kind man, she's inevitably orphaned after the deaths of her parents, leaving her to grow up alongside her cruel stepmother and sisters. Cinderella is prominent in Descendants 4, appearing as a kind, generous, and wise ruler who cares deeply for her family. She escorts Chloe to Auradon Prep, where she encounters her old friend Bridget and is charged with treason after Auradon's coup is staged. Chloe travels into the past with Red, hoping to save her mother. Once there, she witnessed firsthand how her mother grew up. When she first meets the younger Ella in Merlin's alchemy class, it's clear that Ella holds most royals in low regard. From her first impressions, it seems like she's had experiences being looked down on for her commoner status. Later, when Red and Chloe question Ella about Uliana and Bridget, they see how tragic her story truly is, witnessing as she works alone to maintain her family's home. When Chloe accidentally breaks a vase, it angers Lady Tremaine, who ridicules Ella for her outfit made of clothing scraps. Before sending her to sleep in the barn as punishment, Ella lashes out at Chloe for the unnecessary trouble, encouraging the two friends to leave. Chloe eventually returns to Ella's home, seeking her advice about breaking the rules for the greater good. Ella clarifies that she would do anything to save someone's life, and acknowledges that hard work is necessary if she wants something to change. She doesn't sugarcoat the harsh realities of her life and how it compares to the other students at Merlin Academy, especially the nobility. Ella grows up in the perfect environment to influence her having opposing views on Auradon and what it becomes later on. She was likely relieved when the Beast created the Isle, sending Lady Tremaine and her daughters away forever. Now that the barrier has come down, Cinderella may have a reason to lash out in Descendants 5, reminding everyone why the villains needed to be locked away in the first place. She may be more cynical and pragmatic now that Chloe and Red have changed her past, preventing her from becoming the kind and forgiving woman introduced in The Rise of Red. Your father's never cared about what other people think. I don't have to. Number 2. A Major Plot Hole while many are excited to have Descendants return, many fans can't help noticing a significant plot hole in Descendants 4, which causes them to question the credibility of that castle coming night, when Bridget's life changed forever. In the story, Uliana plans to get revenge on Bridget by stealing the sorcerer's cookbook from Merlin's office. Using one of its spells to turn Bridget into a monster during castle coming, the prank is traumatic enough that Bridget leaves Merlin Academy, becoming the cold-hearted and cruel Queen of Hearts. The prank completely shakes her faith in people, and she changes everything about herself to ensure she will never get tricked again, including jumping on the chance to stage a coup at Auradon Prep. When Red and Chloe go back in time to prevent Bridget from becoming an evil queen, they try to steal the sorcerer's cookbook first, which requires them to break into Merlin's office, fight off his magical security system, and take the book before Uliana can stop them. However, Uliana manages to take and open the book before they can. But the book's protection spell determines she's not pure of heart, paralyzing her and her friends in retaliation. Chloe and Red recover the book, and due to their good intentions, they can open the book and prevent the timeline from continuing. Uliana and her friends are found paralyzed by Merlin, who places them in detention, likely preventing them from attending Castle Coming. However, if good intentions and a pure heart are requirements to open the sorcerer's cookbook safely, it begs the question, how did Uliana open it during the main timeline? 
Some fans have theorized that Ella is the one who opens the book for them, believing she's doing the right thing, even if doing so requires getting her hands dirty and breaking the trust of her best friend. While it's unlikely that Ella would purposely hurt Bridget, Uliana may have blackmailed her into helping or backed her into a corner. After all, Ella claimed there wasn't anything she wouldn't do for her loved ones, which may include hurting Bridget forever. I mean, the worst bully this school has ever seen. I mean, one time she turned all the freshmen into frogs. Number 3. Timeline Changes One of the few people Red has to depend on in Wonderland is Maddox, the descendant of the Mad Hatter and her tutor. He witnesses firsthand how frustrating her life is and wants nothing more than for her to have better opportunities, which is why he tells her about the pocket watch. However, knowing how dangerous tampering with the flow of time can be, Maddox refuses to give Red the watch, prompting her to steal it from him when he isn't paying attention. Fortunately, his warning is enough to dissuade her from using the watch immediately, allowing her to use its power when her mother takes over Oradon Prep. Joined by Chloe, Red makes significant changes to the timeline. For starters, she meets her mom before her birth, and if Bridget and Ella's memories are good, then they should recognize their daughters from when they met them in the past mainly because the two friends didn't bother to change their appearances or use fake names. The two time travelers leave the past after significantly changing the timeline, making the Queen of Hearts a better person. Red and Chloe's actions have more than personal consequences. The changed timeline impacts the fate of Wonderland and Cinderella, as she would now graduate from Merlin Academy with her best friend. It's possible that with Bridget remaining at the school, Ella's fate would change completely. She may not fall in love with Prince Charming at Castlecoming, she could also become Uliana's newest target, especially if she continues to defend Bridget, making an enemy of Ursula's little sister. If outside sources made her childhood more challenging to endure, then Ella could grow more calloused and closed off, further justifying her beliefs that life isn't always fair and that she needs to look out for herself. But I should warn you, when you alter the fabric of time, there can be some unpredictable consequences. Number 4. A New Antagonist the Descendants franchise takes a specific approach to antagonists. Every film features a different villain to face, with characters like Maleficent, Uma, and Audrey becoming enemies of Auradon for various reasons. It's not unheard of for future villains to establish themselves in earlier films, presenting motivations for their poor behavior later on. For example, Audrey loses her relationship with Ben and her chance to become the Queen of Auradon in the first film. Doing so provides her reasonable motivation to take Maleficent's scepter later using its power to take the control she always wanted. Descendants 4 suggests that the Queen of Hearts may become an overarching villain. She has a measurable power, capable of transporting her soldiers in a deck of playing cards, and destroying the fairy godmother's wand. Instead, at the end of the film, she's changed to become a gracious ruler and kind mother. Her transformation occurs at the end, leaving no room for further conflict. Now that Red has saved her mother like she wanted, there's a vacancy for the franchise's next antagonist. Cinderella could fit the role, taking Bridget's place from the original timeline. No. The thought of someone as influential and well-known as Cinderella becoming a villain may seem ridiculous initially, but when watching Descendants 4, all the pieces fall into place. Ella's introduction and deep dive into her past will make her a rich and compelling antagonist especially if her story is drawn out across numerous films, allowing her true intentions to become exposed over time. Like Red, Chloe may have had a hard time standing up to her mom, but there's no doubt she'll do what's necessary to protect Auradon. Say you have a friend, well, not a friend, but someone you know who's a bad person. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Be sure you can't come. I mean, we can visit Chad at college another time.